questions, Kes Charles Arau, the honorable member for Halifax. de l'opposition, le premier ministre a nommé Daniel Terrien commissaire à la protection de la vie privée. Un agent du Parlement ne devrait pas juger des politiques qu'il a, qu a élaborées, surtout quand elles sont controversées comme celle du périmètre de sécurité. Le commissariat avait fortement critiqué cette mesure. Alors, pourquoi nommer un des négociateurs de cette initiative à la tête du commissariat? Speaker, Mr. Terrien is a well-qualified candidate who would bring significant experience in law and privacy issues to the position. This appointment was made following a rigorous process that identified Mr. Terrien as the best candidate. According to the NDP, having actual experience working on privacy issues in government somehow makes you less qualified to be privacy commissioner. Speaker, conservatives were caught misusing the communication security establishment. They were caught doing nothing while Canadians saw their privacy breached, and they put forward legislation allowing spying on Canadians based on suspicion alone. Our last privacy watchdog raised alarm bells about the government's privacy policy, and now the conservatives are replacing her with the person who designed the policy. That is not balanced. So, will the conservatives reconsider this appointment? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the President of the Treasury Board. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Terrien has more uh, public service in this country than that member or myself together. So, Mr. Terrien, as I said, is a well-qualified candidate who would bring significant experience in law and privacy issues to the position. The appointment was made uh, following a rigorous process that identified Mr. Terrien as the best candidate. According again to the NDP, having actual experience working on privacy issues in government somehow makes you less qualified to be privacy commissioner. I'm not sure what else to say, Mr. Speaker. Not having the Mr. Speaker, their lack of accountability extends to maternal and child health as well. They lecture other countries, but they can't produce proper statistics about maternal and child health in Canada, and they put ideological restrictions on the funding. Mr. Speaker, making commitments is a good start, but the real test is whether or not you follow through and the kind of impact that you have. So will the government ensure that there is a full range of family planning options available to these women and girls? Canada has taken a leadership role in addressing the health challenges faced by women, newborn and children in the world's poorest country. Mr. Speaker, let me give this member some good results here. Thanks to Canada's global leadership, Mr. Speaker, over 700,000 more children wow. lived in their fifth wow. birth in 2011 than in 2010, Mr. Speaker. Let me say, in over 125 countries, Mr. Speaker, maternal death rates have declined sharply in the past five years. Between 2010 and 2013, Mr. Speaker, an estimated 2 million deaths from Ooh. disease have been prevented, Mr. Speaker. If that is a good record, then I don't know what to say.